Could it be time to review the classic Batman? Pow! And welcome back to the channel. Oh, no, wait, wait, wrong channel. Hey guys, me, host Superstar, thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! It's Adam West's Batman. So this episode has to be over dramatic. <laughs> Will our Crusaders get out in time? <laughs> I couldn't resist. I love this figure. I love Batman 1966. One of the best, best interpretations of Batman in my opinion. I had so much fun as a kid with that TV series. It was my introduction to Batman as a kid back in the day. It used to be on, I think, Channel 4 or 5. And it used to be on at like 5 o'clock in the morning and then straight after school. And I would watch Adam West Batman Adventures daily. It was one one of those TV series that I always grew up and loved. And when you're a young man, getting that glimpse in the beginning of Batgirl was all you need, all you needed to see to get excited and think, oh, it's a Batgirl episode. <laughs> but yes, Adam West's Batman. And finally, we've got some good-looking figures here from McFarlane, from the new McFarlane's Toys line as a part of the DC Multiverse kind of stuff. They've released us some 1966 card-backed Batmans. Now, not only do we have this one, we also have um, Robin, Joker, and we have the Batmobile, and we have the um, the Batcave as well. So I'm looking forward to doing the full reviews on this series. A lot of people I've noticed online have done their reviews in one big thing. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to like spread it out and enjoy sh sharing some nostalgic memories of Batman 66 with you and doing each one individually each day. So over the coming week, we'll probably have a few of these episodes thrown in throughout my channel until we get through the series. But yes, very excited to have it. So the card back itself is very nice indeed. If you're a card back collector, this is definitely one you're going to want to keep carded. Sadly, I am an open box collector. It has that classic 1966 green Batman logo there. And if we turn it to the back, you can see a nice product shot there. It does actually look like Adam West so much. But that's actually the action figure. And then, of course, we've got the Batcave, Batmobile, and everything being shown off there as well. We've got McFarlane's logo at the top. Very cool. So, guys, let's go ahead and break him out of the packaging. Oh, it's a cloth cape as well. Nice. I'm happy about that. So, they've included a bunch of the... and ow, sound effects for us to include in our fight scenes, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, Batman's awesome. Doesn't look like he's got major articulation in this figure, to be honest, but it still looks pretty nice. We don't need this package anymore, so yeet. All right, so here he is out of the packaging, guys. He looks awesome. So this is the classic Batman, which I love. And he's got the blue cape as well, just like the television series. I'd love it. It's a little bit scrumpled up for being in the box. Hopefully that will drop out as, as we mess around with him. The figure itself does have very limited articulation, though, but to be honest, so did Adam West. <laughs> so the head is on a ball joint. You can make him kind of look left and right. There isn't much up and down, though, on this one. You can't really make Batman look up, which is a shame. I'm not sure if that's just my figure not warming up. No, there's no there's no up and down movement there. Oh, wow. Um, so it's just left and right. There is a little bit of plastic warping here on the side of Batman's uh, cowl, which is a little bit of a shame, but... The likeness there does look like him quite a lot, to be honest. You can tell who it's meant to be, definitely. Uh, the arms lift up this side hinge and also rotate. There is a single hinged elbow there, and I, the arms do rotate. Hands, what are the, what are the hands doing? Um, hands just rotate. There is no ball joint in there, though, so the hands literally just move on the hinge itself. Uh, it just rotates around. Legs don't lift outwards. They only lift forwards. With a single hinged knee, a uh, little bit of rotation there. No boot cut and the feet are static. No rocker or pivot or anything in the feet. So articulation is very basic. And there is uh, display holes in the feet. Should you wish to use a display base. Um, 
Mm. I was very much into this figure until I opened it, to be honest. I think a lot of people will keep this card back, to be honest. I think that's probably why they've done it, but... Yeah, he's, he's got very limited articulation, which I know I'm joking when I say that Adam West did as well, but yeah, it's still very limited articulation that I wish we had better uh, movement to be able to pose him. That's my problem. You're going you're gonna to be very limited in your posing and probably only shoving him in very vanilla poses like that, which is a real shame. There is waist swivel, though, which is nice, which does move around pretty well. The figure um, does have some plastic issues. You can see on the belt, it's got a lot of warping going on on that plastic. It's flaking away with the paint as well, which is a pain. But either way, I still I still do like it because it's Adam West Batman, to be honest. I've got a very soft spot and nostalgic spot for the, um, for the classic television series. Now with these power signs, I think we can just strap we can strap them to his like wrist. Which is pretty cool. Let me try and get, wrap that around. There you go. So basically, as you cracking Joker in the face, you can just shove that effect on. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> it's a very cool concept. Or if we're giving a if we're giving a villain a good kicking. You can make it go. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't fit to the feet. It only fits to the arms. That's a shame. I was hoping to give him a kick in and give him a... Bow! <laughs> but either way, very cool. Right, guys. What I think is going to be best is let's head on down to the desk cam to get an up-close personal look at this Adam West Batman. So let's head on down to the desk cam. <laughs> So guys, here is Batman out of the packaging, looking pretty awesome. I do like this figure a lot. So, it is very good with the... Bow! <laughs> or maybe... Bow! <laughs> I, love, I do love the little sound effect there, things though. They're very cool to throw in. Um, the figure itself, like I say, my only issue with it is with the articulation. That is my only grumble, which is a it is a pain. I really wish they would have given us a multi-articulated figure. Why give us a very limited articulated figure? I don't understand. McFarlane, so far, every figure I've picked up of McFarlane's have been very poseable and have had lots of articulation. The only series I've found from McFarlane that doesn't is that weird Disney series that they released, that Mirrorverse. They're, like, very limited in articulation. But I don't understand why Batman is. The, the regular Bat, Batman McFarlane line is very articulated. So why have they gone this route for Batman 66? I don't know. I think the Mattel versions had more articulation than this. And it just took me two minutes to get him to stand. So, I mean, once he's on your shelf and he's out of that packaging, he's going to be a pain to stand because you can't, you can't move the feet to get him to sit, to stand flush you have to mess around with him with the knees and things and you have to get him to kind of get him back in that generic vanilla pose just to get him to stand and you have to kind of get one foot maybe bent a little bit forwards and a little bit backwards and you got to balance him out and yeah shouldn't have to do that with, with a figure in this generation you know we've got multiple points of articulation on every other figure out there why is this one so lacking that is my only gripe I think if you're an inbox collector, you're going to love this series as it, the, the, the packaging is very nice, very nostalgic, and very retro. But for an out of box collector like me, I'm not sure what I can do with him. That's my problem. With the limited posing ability, I'm very limited in what I can do for action figure photography and things. Um, like, I wanted to basically take a photo of like this diorama laid on its back and have Batman walking up it, just like in the CV series, on a rope. But I'm not sure I can even do that with this figure at this point. The, the articulation is that limited. So we'll have to see what I can do with him. But either way, um, Batman 66 for me holds a special spot. I do love it. And I will be displaying him uh, regardless of all this. Because I do just love Batman 1966. I do love Adam West. Um, like I say, it was my introduction to Batman as a kid. Uh, I used to run around dressed up as this character of Batman. I used to have this suit as a kid. And it, like I say, it was the, the introduction to DC Comics for me. So it does hold a special spot. But guys, what are your thoughts on this figure? I'd love to know your guys' thoughts um, in the comments down below for me. Let us know which is your favourite episode and what is your memory of Batman 1966. Um, 
let's try and keep this positive. So what are your thoughts, you know, on the television series? Which is your favourite episode? I'd love to know. Mine was always um, the one with Mr. Freeze because the ending to that episode is amazing. We know in the cliffhanger, it's like, will Batman escape in time or will he become a popsicle? <laughs> I always love the overdramatic like, outros to the for Batman 66. But for now, let's head on down to the... Sorry, head on back to the main cam and finish off this video. So guys, what are your thoughts on this Batman? Let us know in the comments down below. Lack of articulation. Batman in an imposable situation. Will Super Sorrel ever get through the backlog of toys? Will we ever get to see Baby Yoda again? Find out next time, same bat time, same bat channel.